the neighborhood today. How did you like that opening? Do you see that? I was standing out here and that, uh, that drone came right down here and notice I, weren't, I wasn't using any of my hands to control it. How did I do that? That's amazing. <laughs> I'm sure some of you already know that, but uh, I'm not fooling anybody here. Hey, listen, I've thrown a couple of tips here today. First one, uh, as you know, the trunk or the rear hatch, they call it, uh, can be opened from several different ways, the key fob inside the car and right under the E on Corvette, there's a little rubber, you can feel it, it's soft, and you push on it and the hatch opens. Now, okay, we let the hatch pop up and it's open like that. Now you go over here and you get your top off you're struggling with the top and you're bringing it over here and you're trying to get it into the trunk and everything. <laughs> if it was only open a little bit more, well, guess what? I'm going to push on this and guess what? You can push this up. Look. I got more. Let me do that again. I'll do it from back here. And this is, let's say we just pop it open like that. And then we can take it and push it like that and go up higher. So you can get more room in your rear hatch. Little tip from me to you. Car door. Seems simple enough. There's a pad right here. You pull on it, it opens up. But what you don't notice is there's a little place to put your finger right here. So you can use your other three. Here's my finger right here. Uh, there's a little place to put your finger. Get a little better grip on it. Use your other three fingers. Open it that way. Then there's another way. You can take your pinky finger way down the bottom here. See my pinky finger right here? You can get that right in there and use your other three to open it that way. Three different ways to open your door. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you see the uh, Z06 that was um, on the floor that fell off the lift? I saw it and it wasn't pretty. Uh, I put jacking pucks on my car. I, in fact, I did a video on putting on the jacking pucks. The jacking pucks are simple. They're very wicked, wicked simple uh, to put on. Need a little Allen wrench. They give you the Allen wrench. Comes with the with the jacking pucks. Very, very simple to do. Um, a kid could do it. You got a nine and ten year old around the house. He could do it, or she could do it. Put the jacking pucks on. It might help the technicians when they put the car up on the lift to know where the jacking points are. Sometimes they think they know where they are, but they aren't where they are. And they've been moved, by the way, with the uh, advent of the uh, C8. So uh, you got to be careful. I don't want to see anybody's car on the floor like that. That was really ugly. Key fob. See the unlock part of the key fob there? See what's this? See where the unlock is? If I take my key fob and double tap this unlock, hold it down the second time, look at that. That runs both windows down. Both windows go down. I wish there was a way to double tap it again and have them come back up, but no, they don't do that. But they do go down. So on a hot day, you might want to double tap these babies down. You should be able to do it maybe from a pretty good distance. You might even be in a restaurant and be able to double tap, double tap and have the windows go down. But that's a nice little feature. I think you have to turn it on on your menu. I'll check that out, get back to you on that one. You might have to set something on in your menu. So I thought I'd show you a couple of more things that I have inside the car here. First thing is that Valentine 1 Generation 2 radar detector that I've got attached to my mirror and it's wired into my um, mirror here too. Uh, that's, that works pretty good. And then I have a cell phone holder right here and uh, when I turn this car on, let me turn the car on. The radar detector is all set to go. 
And let me see if uh, the phone is ready to go. Uh, there's that JBV Valentine 1 uh, version 2. Uh, and I'm able to um, see this wonderful Valentine 1 up viewed on my screen here and it tells me in fact this is an upgrade I got to do on my Valentine 1 it tells me that but it also tells me uh, what's going on this is a quarter mile radius from my house and if there are any cruises police cars anything that are around you could do it and this is the way I normally drive but I do let me back up for a minute um, the second thing I do let me put it in park the second thing I do is I put on Android Auto because I have a thing called Waze W-A-Z-E and Waze is not only a, a pretty good uh, navigation system if you don't feel like paying a hundred bucks every year for a new navigation system uh, you can use Waze and the other thing that's nice about Waze is a lot of people have it in their car Waze is a great way to help you um, see where the police are in fact uh, let me hit Android Auto and uh, you will see that Waze I've got it set up so that Waze comes on right away there's a button on here that if you see a police car you can notify everybody else that's running ways that there's a police car in the area if you push that button you can let the police know there's a car there see what that says there that says uh, ah, okay. that says um, police and traffic and crash you can hazards on the road bad weather you can you can notify people of all these things which I think is really really helpful Hope you liked uh, the ways. I like the idea of having the radar detector uh, and the radar detector display, which really works nice. And it's a Bluetooth thing, so it, this communicates with that wireless, with the phone wirelessly. And then I also like to run ways because I think ways. Um, it's the only system I've ever used where people actually do report if there's somebody, if there's an accident somewhere, or there's a traffic jam, or you know, if there's a very aggressive uh, police uh, presence where they're showing people, uh, showing people uh, getting tickets and stuff. You know, you don't want to get a speeding ticket. It's very expensive today. You do not want to get a speeding ticket. So, anyway. This is the combination I use. I like it a whole lot. And um, this app that's on here is actually free. What the heck is that? What in the world is that thing down there? That's an upcoming video, so stay tuned. But I'm still, I have to run this for a couple of weeks and then uh, I will know more about it. Um, first thing you're probably saying wait a minute isn't that the computer port yes it is and what's going on with all those numbers and everything what's going on whoa, whoa. what the heck is that thanks for watching hope you tweaked uh, your interest and uh, I hope you like my set I like my setup it, it, this thing is working working great I love that review am I the only one that really loves this review mirror <laughs> this